Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Willy, also known as Iron Python on Minecraft, and with me is Zaywombatadoom. He's apparently silent. He's uh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I was I was reading reading this pretty nice book. That's a diamond shovel. That's no, a book. I, I put away the book because I didn't want to be reading anymore. No. Was it a good book? It was really good. It was it was about um well it was about our server. Oh, well, those are always good books about our server. But mm -hmm. if you guys wish to write your own books, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this little tutorial. Also I'm gonna show you how to send things to other users. Now the main thing for the whole book writing stuff is obviously books and bookshelves. All you need is a book in your hand, and you type in slash w, which is all of the book writing commands will be slash w, and then the title of your book. So I'm going to call this Note to the Doom. All right, now my book called Note to the Doom has been made. Now I need to actually put some stuff in it. Now, if you type in slash w and use the minus key after a space and help, it'll tell you a list of all the commands you can do. So you can see there's chat, there's read, so you can read a specific page in it. Now, if you're using Spoutcraft, you'll get a nifty menu that will show up so you don't have to use the read specific page thing. It's much more convenient. You can undo whatever you just wrote, so if you accidentally typed in something you didn't mean to you can undo it like you were actually trying to talk to somebody and you accidentally wrote it in the book the erase text will erase whatever text you put in there so if you wanted to erase hello how are you you need to write out hello how are you afterwards and it'll delete that portion of the book be careful though because it will erase all instances in that book so if you wanted to erase the word hello and you have hello five times in your book it will erase all five hellos so do be careful with that the replace is very useful. It's just slash W, minus key, replace. Then you type in the uh, the words that you want to, like maybe you made a spelling error or something like that, and you wanted to fix it. So you type in the misspelled word, word, which I'll have as help with an extra L, because I keep saying that when I mean to say hello sometimes. Uh, and then you kind of make like an arrow with the minus key and the uh, greater than. And then you write the word that you want to replace it with, which would be hello. And then it'll replace that variance in your book. You can also use the title one to rename it if you wish to change the title. And if you wish to clear the whole book completely, which it won't erase the title, but it'll erase all the content in the book, it's just erase all. And now erase all of it, your book. If it's five paragraphs long, it'll erase all five paragraphs. So make sure you, you mean to do that before you do. Now, my favorite one, personally, is chat. Now, this is a toggle one. So when I do it once, it enables it. And then when I type in slash W space minus chat, it'll untoggle it. Now, whatever I say in the chat field will be put in the book. Now, a spout craft, you can write a lot. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and just go on to uh, a website here and copy something. Um, let's copy this random paragraph from a plugin that is on my internet browser. Once again, Spoutcraft allows you to copy and paste. I know, Spoutcraft's amazing. You should definitely get it for our server. And see, that's a huge long sentence, and that would take a lot to write in individual sentences. But because I have the chat thing, I just hit enter, and it puts all the lines in the book. And Doom, did you see any of that? He's, he's shaking his head, so I'll, I'll take that as a no. I, I, didn't, I didn't see anything. Sorry, my mouth was full. I'm eating noodles. No, I, I thought you were trying to really get into a character with that outfit. <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, and then when you're done writing your book, uh, all you do is stop writing. Now, if you have the toggle chat thing, you want to make sure that you type in the slash chat again. That will disable it. Now, if you want to write it without the chat command, like you want to write it normally, all you do is just sl slash W and you write whatever you want. Um, hello. See, I keep writing it with a P because I accidentally go too far over. And that would just write, hello, how are you doing? Apparently, you doing without a space into the book. 
Uh, if you want to write it with a new line, like let's say you, you just finished this paragraph and you want it to actually have a paragraph in the page, you just use two of the colons, two colons, and you can write whatever you want. I always like doing two colons and another two colons because it really shows it as a new line. So I'll just type in new line, enter there. Now if I right click while holding the book, that will read it and see as you can see there's the new line it doesn't show the colons or anything and here's that paragraph that I copied from the uh, website now if I had more than one page down here it would say you know one out of two and I just click the arrow here to go to the second page and when I'm done I click the little X up here now if you're not using Spoutcraft all of that messaging will show up in the text field here when you right click it and each time you right click it it'll switch between the pages uh, that's why you have to type in the slash uh, read page number to go back a page if you accidentally clicked it too fast. So it's much more convenient using Spoutcraft, but you can use it normally. Now, um, another amazing thing about it is I'm going to toss this at Doom because he, he didn't see anything that I wrote besides yeah, obviously the last the one. <laughs> yeah, he wants to see the paragraph I pasted. So I just throw the book at him, and because it memorizes it to that book, you can hand books to other users, which is very useful for passing along notes, or maybe you're writing some kind of cool nifty story for the server or just for yourself in your house, and you and you like writing creative things, you can write a little creative story, and you can have other people read it. So, can you read that paragraph and all that? I mean, yeah. you don't have to read the whole paragraph, but can you read it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I read it. Alright, now go ahead and just toss that back at me. Please. <laughs> Oh, it's us the library. Anyways, um, oh, also, one more thing is if, go away. If you switch to it, as you saw down there, it tells you what the title of that book is if it actually has a title to it. So it says, Note to the Doom. If it was just a normal book, it wouldn't show that or anything. So that's one way of seeing as it's a book, as hovering over doesn't tell you. Now, I have a bookshelf here, which most of you will probably put one of these into your house eventually. You can put books into it. So if I go ahead and just left click, oops, sorry, right, uh, wait. There's there's already a book in the middle. That's why it wouldn't let me put it in there. <laughs> he put a book in there. So if I right click this, it will tell me whatever book was on that shelf. The history of one, uh, the history of Willie, <laughs> by the one that yeah. I do. That's funny. So anyways, if there isn't a book already in there, which <laughs> this one doesn't have, and I right click there. If you right click bookshelf, so read it. Um, it'll let you put it in by left clicking so you just put it into the bookshelf and even said book placed in bookshelf and now when you right click the bookshelf it will read this information once again that's very useful for you guys who like writing creative stories or poems or whatever you guys are into writing you can put them into bookshelf so people can read them and because it's on your property they can't destroy the bookshelf and steal your book but they can copy it so you have that extra book right but Dre, what if you accidentally put the book in the bookshelf? Without meaning to? Well, yeah. you could ask the person who owns the house to do, give you the book back really nicely. Uh... Yeah, so make sure you put the book only in your own bookshelf if you want that bookshelf back. Now, if you put it in the bookshelf and it's in your property, all you do is just break it. Uh... And you'll get like four books, obviously, because <laughs> of the new uh, way it... You took the book. Why'd you take I the book? I took a book. You took the book. <laughs> I need the book. You took two books. Oh, huh? no, the doom. There yes. you go. Uh, but four books will pop out because you normally get three, and the fourth one is actually the book. You still have my book. <laughs> oh, I gave it to you. <laughs> no, you gave me a normal book. But anyways, um, um, if you have... There you go. Yeah, I'll just give you all the books. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Give me all the books, 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 books. All right, so there's the notes. <laughs> I'll put that in there. You can take an empty book, which this one's an empty book. I accidentally right-clicked the bookshelf because don't push me. Uh, if you have an empty book, you can copy a book shelf information. So this has a book in it now, the note to the one about a doom. I have an empty book. Uh, you just left-click, and it copies that information. So you can copy server rules from the post office or world information from the post office, things like that you can copy or you can copy other people's stories that they've written, uh, that kind of thing. So that's very useful. Yeah, there's bookshelves there. It doesn't look like dirt at all, I swear. 
Anyways, we'll go ahead and wander over here because there's more useful things. Now I'm cluttered. <laughs> uh, I got like a bazillion books in here. Um, I'll take a book. Ooh, it's so shiny. Now I'm going to show you mailboxes, which you can send your books to other users or other things. It doesn't matter. Now, here's a chest. Now, it's not locketed or anything, so I'm going to lock it. That way only I can open up this chest. And I'm going to make it a mailbox. Now, you can only have one mailbox. The game won't let you have any more. Um, and to make a mailbox, all you type in is mailbox create. And it'll tell you to left click the chest you wish to make your mailbox. Make sure it's on your property and it's your chest because if you accidentally make it somebody else's, they can get into your mailbox. Not a good idea. So put it onto your property and lock it so no one else can get it. And now this is my mailbox. And if somebody sends me mail, it'll tell me that someone sent me mail and I can open this up and grab my mail from the mailbox. Now I'm going to go ahead and send Doom some mail. I'm going to go ahead and send him a stick. Actually, now I'll go ahead and send him the note of Doom. Why not? Now. All you do is do mailbox send and the player's name, so the Wombat of Doom. And it'll send whatever you're holding in your hand to that person. It'll tell you, you know, it's successfully been received. Now, you can also send items besides, you know, books with notes. You can send items, so mailbox send the Wombat of Doom. Doom needs a shorter name. And I sent him a stick. You can also send a stack of items. So I have a stack of 32 glass here. And instead of having to send 32 times, I can just send it once. So it'd be mail box send. The wombat of doom. Why is it so long? <laughs> I spelt it wrong. Let's try that again. I accidentally spent mail box with a Z. There we go. I sent 32 things of glass to him. So he should have all of that in his chest here. Now, he locketed it, so I can't open it up. There you go. So I open this up, and there you go. Stuff that's been sent from me to him. Very useful. So I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful in how I to write your own you books. Huh? I sent you some stuff, too. Oh, you did? Ooh. What did I get? I got some dirt, and some leaves, and some wheat, and some gravel, and some skin. Yay, just what I needed, dirt and skin. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and writing your own books, and setting up your mailbox on our server, and sending mail to other users. Now you can send mail, doesn't matter what world you're in, or where in the world you are in. So if you're in Baldric, and someone's like, hey, while you're there, pick me up some uh, wool, go to the wool shop, buy it for them, send it to them. Just make sure they pay you back using the whole uh, money, pay, the username, and the amount. That way, you know, you're not doing it for free. <laughs> Unless you're really, really uh, friends with this person. You don't mind giving them some free wool every once in a while. And uh, I shall see you all later. If you have any questions, comment below or ask me on the server or on the forums. And, uh, Check out the Doom Water Fountain. He's uh, here on the weekends. Uh, 15 Drek fee. <laughs> and I shall see you all later. This is Mr. Willie signing off. Adios. And the Wombat of Doom. All right, some things that I forgot to mention. One, if you're copying and pasting from like Word or Notepad or an email or something like that, however, you copy from your computer and paste it into Minecraft using Spout uh, Craft. Now, Certain characters have issues with that, like if you put, if there's like quotes in it or like three periods or commas and things like that, my uh, word and that kind of thing brings extra artifacts in with it and Minecraft will kick you for um, using illegal characters. It's actually a Minecraft problem, not a plugin or anything like that, so there's nothing I can do about it, uh, but I do wish for you guys to be aware of that, if you get that error... Like it kicks you from copying that. Write it word for word, character for character in the text field, and it won't kick you. It, for whatever reason, if you type it out in Minecraft, it won't kick you, but if you copy it and paste it, it will for those weird characters. So if you do have that issue, don't worry. Don't go 
scream and say, oh no, what did I do? You didn't do anything wrong. Just manually type it in and you'll be fine. Also, for the bookshelf, another way of getting your book back besides destroying the bookshelf, if you left click the bookshelf and you put it in, if you shift click, you'll take it out. You can only take out your book from your bookshelf, so if I put this in here, somebody can't walk up and steal my book by shift clicking it or anything like that, because they'll say it's not your book. But if you shift click it, you'll get your book back. I don't know why that escaped my mind, probably because when I and putting things in bookshelves is for like the library and stuff and I'm in GM mode and clicking it will destroy the item so I'm used to destroying it and just getting my book back that way and putting a bookshelf back uh, so I think that's why I've completely forgot about that but yes for you guys shift clicking it is definitely a, a much more efficient way of getting your book back so hope this uh, tutorial helped you and I'm gonna go ahead and sign off so I shall see you all later adios